Welcome to tutorial 4. Here, we would add the licenses in a Cypress UI and run some traffic tests. Let's go to the UI. For adding the license, there are two ways for Cypress UI. One is to add the integrated license that is there as part of the controller that you can do through Administration and License Manager. To perform a new activation, you specify Activate License. Copy paste the license data that you might have received through email from your sales representative. Click on the load data and that would showcase how many licenses are available to activate. And then you can specify the count that you want to activate. In this case, only one is available and I will try to activate this one. Once you have activated the license, you would see the license coming up in the screen and you should get a license successful activation successful message which is great. Now let me go to the test again and you will have several configs that you can use to run tests. So I will use an Cyper Fapmix test. I will use the agents that I created, the physical agents. So one for the client, and the other for the server. Cyper provides you the ability to go ahead and use the automatic IP addresses that are assigned to the test interface of the, each of the agents. You can always change it and put your own IP addresses and you'll get a different types of simulated IP addresses, their accounts and stuff like that. You can do the same for Mac where you can either have an automatic Mac or change their Macs to set to a specific value. Now this will be a simple test. So I'll just add a default application traffic. I'll go and add this plus button. HTTP app, I've selected that. Now do an OK. And this app has been added. You will see there are two actions here, gets and posts with some configurabilities. You can change TCP settings, you can change TLS settings, you can specify objectives. You can also specify network mapping when you have multiple network segments and you want to add individual applications to individual segments. And for this, everything I keep as default, the client agent and the server agent are in the same ESX, the test interface is through the same ESX switch, so they should be able to communicate. I will start the test. It generally takes somewhere between 10 seconds to a minute or so to start the test. Once the test starts, it automatically switches to the statistics screen and you will start seeing relevant statistics for your test. And you can see there are traffic going through. I would start seeing throughput very soon. Now this test, we use the integrated license server within this controller. Cyperf also provides you the flexibility to use a centralized license server that might be staying somewhere else. You just have to provide the IP address of those license server and add it. And Cyperf will check whether there are, well, before running the test, whether there are licenses within this server. And if the licenses are adequate enough for that particular test, it would run the test. So there is two ways to add licenses. Thanks a lot for listening.